may be unconscious. And what happened? <laughs> she fell down the stairs. I don't really know. Okay. She was there one minute and gone the next. There's a possible beginnings of faint bruising around the eyes. <laughs> this way. I know the way to my own department. Thank you, Mrs. Beachy. Can you arrange a CT scan? Excuse me, nurse? Yes. My name is Randall, Frank Randall. I received a call from a Dr. Edwards. Yes, sir. One moment, please, Mr. Randall. Thank you. He's here. Tell me, I was a little concerned about the bruising around Grace's eyes, which can be a possible indication of an acute Yes, bleed. yes. You'll be relieved to know that the CT came up clear. <laughs> However, she does have a mild cerebral contusion, so obviously we'll be keeping her. We'll slowly reduce her sedation and keep an eye on that until the swelling comes down. OK? So what happened with Brad? You didn't need to lie for me. You just made Hayes suspicious. Should she be suspicious? Okay, I was there. I ran into Brad and we hung out and then he left. And that's it. Tell me, Vicky. It wasn't meant to be him. What wasn't? It's bad, Holly. Tell me. Okay, I need some help over here, please. Can you let the mother in? What's on your mind, Harry? I'm wondering. Yes? I'm wondering why this hurts so much. Not sure hurt comes into it anymore. So you don't feel pain? No, not really. Can't say that I do. Love? Pass. So what's left? Not much. Alcohol. Sex with strangers. People that you know aren't going to be around for much longer. Memories. And stories. Stories you cling on to just to keep yourself going. Lies, mainly. Things that happened. Things that might happen. Dreaming up things you want to happen. Realising that dreams aren't enough. Realising how quickly dreams turn into nightmares. Then knowing that life's a bloody living nightmare. There's no difference between being asleep or awake. But there's no rest for the wicked. You know the sort of thing. <laughs>